Hey guys, how are you? It's been a long time since I've been on here, but I'm definitely in the mood to basically review all of my favorite concealers. But actually, before we start, I have this awesome candle. Hold on, let me show you. I'm definitely digging this candle from Bath and Body Works. It's the, what is it, the Grapefruit and Sage scented candle? Oh my god, it's so good. All right. Uh, so yeah, before we go ahead and start, please smash the subscribe button. I'm new to this, and I just really love makeup. I collect a lot, and I just haven't got around to it, but I'm going to start now. Um, as you can see, these are... Honestly, I use all of them, believe it or not. Um, more than enough than one person should have, but obviously there's a lot of Huda Beauty in here. This is my favorite one that I... Probably this is my sixth or seventh concealer bottle I've gotten in the cotton candy color. This is really good for people who have really dark under eyes. I don't, but oop, here's another one. I got two of them, so I'll put those on the side. What else? We got, focus. Okay, we've got more Huda Beauty, and this is her foundation concealer stick which is full coverage let's see what color I have I have custard got another one over here what is this one this one's also custard another one that's also custard well I have three I didn't even <laughs> I have three but I go through them so quick uh let's see we have oh NARS this one is the one that I use the least this is the lightest shade that they have and light 2.6. I don't know if it is actually the lightest shade now, but it really comes on kind of darker and oxidizes not that well, but I still get use out of it. Uh, here is my Lancome one. I just got this. I'm actually running out. Um, I don't know if I have it, have the other one with me, but yeah, this is in the color 215 buff. I'm just going to open it just to show you guys. There you go. Yeah, this one I have to say is like my top three favorite ones. Um, it's just full coverage and it feels so light. It's like you're not wearing makeup. And the next one I really like is the Hourglass one. This is already my second one. Um, full coverage, has a very similar consistency as the Lancome one, and I got in the color Cotton. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you can tell they're actually the same color. One looks darker because it's almost empty, but this one's a new one. I just, I just love it. Also, shout out to my nails. I didn't get these nails anywhere. I actually did them myself. Maybe someday I'll do a nail review here on my channel but yeah I got a little bit of a YSL in there <clears throat> so obviously you can tell that I have a shit ton of Jeffree Star concealers long story short when he first came out with the concealers I just bought a whole ton I made a lot of freaking orders and I got in the color I believe C14 and C18. Gosh. Yeah. One, tell me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Obviously, I love his concealers. Um, but I have a problem with buying more, but I'd have to say they're a 10 for me. My color is C14. I got C18. Sometimes I wear C18 as a foundation. You know, that's such a high school thing for me to do is like use concealer as foundation. I don't mind if I have a light coverage foundation. I just go in with the concealer. Um, I love the packaging. I just wish the formula could be a little bit more moisturizing, but still have that full coverage, basically. I just don't, I'm not too big on the star on top because it's really sharp and it actually breaks off super easily. Like there's this one right there. I mean, 
Let's see if I have another one that's just like completely broken. Yeah. But I, I just think this is a well thought out, beautiful component. Love this crystal here. Just love all the angles on it. I think Jeffree Star has the best packaging, to be honest. Okay, moving next on over. This one, uh, I mean, I got it obviously for the brand name Giorgio Armani. Right? It's Giorgio Armani. I'm so bad. Um, this is in the shade three. It's super light coverage. I'm sorry. Uh, some people might compare it to the Rare Beauty. Actually, the Rare Beauty one, when it came out, I was like so into it. But it's actually pretty similar to the Giorgio Armani. It's very light to medium coverage. Of course, you know, you can pack a little bit, two layers, maybe two and a half layers of this, and you get a full coverage of concealer. But um, I'm just trying to use these out. I don't think I'll be repurching these. Maybe this one, Rare Beauty. Give it another shot. Uh, I have a ton of these. This is like probably my fourth or fifth one. The Dior um, Forever Skin Corrector. Correct. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Probably the lightest shade, too. What shade is this? O-N. Pretty much. And I just love this applicator is just so big like look at that yeah that's pretty christian dior is so trending right now like it's just i don't know i've gotten highlighters i've gotten eyeshadow palettes from them i'm gonna do a review on them soon but i just love this it's just so sleek it's very similar to their foundation bottles which i like and, oh, here's two of these, probably the same color, from Makeup Forever. At first, I really like this. This is perfect for summer. For someone who has ridiculously oily skin like me, this stays on pretty long. I don't use this every single day. I tried it for a whole month and actually dried my skin out in the summer. So I would say this is almost like stage makeup concealer like movie theater photo shoot this is like perfect heavy duty um not your everyday but i mean you just gotta try it and then you'll see uh this one i haven't really reached out much um it's the stay naked correcting concealer it's medium coverage it's a sleek pretty bottle or glass or whatever i i was intrigued by it but when i tried i was like a little bit disappointed. I was hoping that it'd be a lighter um, consistency, which it is, but just doesn't cover any pimples or anything. So I won't be repurchasing this guy. Oh, and that's in the shade 30 and Y. Uh, Anastasia, this is pretty heavy duty. I'd say it's pretty similar to the Makeup Forever. Um, you know, it's a huge bottle, huge applicator, but it kind of feels so light. It kind of feels a bit cheap. I find that her products can be a little ch on the cheaper end. I just wish we can change the packaging a little bit. Um, this is in the shade Magic Touch Concealer. Oh, shade 5. All right. This is okay. I mean, would I reach out to it? No. I, I actually bought it because it was made in Italy. And yeah, no, it's great, but not my top pick. Kosas is really nice. I just wish they had more shades. Like, it's just, yeah, it just washes me out. I can't find any other color that I would use besides this one. And this is 0.5N, which is a neutral color. I mean, it's it's nice. I'm, I mean, don't hate on me. I just don't really grab for it. And then last but not least, the NARS. I know it's pretty dirty. You can tell I've been like using this up like crazy and just, yeah, it's perfect for spot concealing. I got in the color light one. When it comes to concealer, I like using the lightest shade. Um, yeah, it's going to be close to empty. It's kind of similar to the MAC pots, but I just prefer the NARS. I just wish they were cruelty free. Um, but I'd have to say my top three would be this one, the NARS, then we have 
Hourglass, and what was it? The Lancome. Like, those are my top three. If anything, you know, I'll probably use this for cut crease, and then these under my eyes, and maybe like spot concealing if I have pimples or whatever with the NARS. Yeah, these are my top two. This one, Lancome, and Hourglass. The Hourglass is really nice and sleek. I'm really into like the chrome brown shine. I keep seeing Rolls Gold everywhere, like the Anastasia one, but I am really digging this classic chic chrome metallic brown shade. I mean, I don't know. If I were to make a makeup brand, I would I would definitely go for the brown. But that's just my preference. Anyways, um, that's all the concealers I have. Coming up next is probably going to be, you know, all of my foundations. So stay tuned. So please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that subscribe button, please. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.